the Filipino architect who played a key role in the reconstruction of post-war Philippines. Through his involvement in designing several religious and prominent buildings in the country, Dora Gosla graduated from the University of Santo Tomas, Manila in 1936 with a degree in architecture and passed the licensure examinations in 1938 and became the 82nd architect of the Philippines. He became interested in religious architecture and so he decided to study further at International Institute of Liturgical Art in Rome during the late 1950s where he obtained a diploma in liturgical art and architecture. It was because of his training in Rome that resulted his innovative approaches as he set new standards for the design of mid-century Catholic churches in the Philippines. Throughout his career, he worked on about 45 churches, 36 office buildings, 4 hotels, 2 hospitals, and took on over 270 residential projects all over the country. His name is said to be synonymous with modern ecclesiastical architecture. As for his style, Zaragoza derived traditional forms of Spanish colonial architecture and combined it with simple, an ornamented design of the international style. On June 21, 2014, Jose Maria Zaragoza was named National Artist for Architecture in Proclamation signed by then President Benigno Aquino III. The proclamation stated, the secular and religious works and achievements of Jose Maria V. Zaragoza demonstrate his typological versatility and mastery of the modernist architectural vocabulary. Commercial Bank and Trust Company Building The Commercial Bank and Trust Company Building was completed in 1969 and is a landmark which was built after the Art Deco generation along Escolta, Manila. The building is deco-inspired and Bukes Arts architecture with a saucer-like or spaceship-like structure. The building was the old headquarters of the Commercial Bank and Trust Company Building, hence its name. However, in 1981, the bank was acquired by the Bank of the Philippine Islands and so the building is presently known as the BPI Escolta Branch. Union Church of Manila The Union Church of Manila is an international and interdenominational church located in Legazpi Village in the city of Makati. The worship services were first held in a chapel along Padre Faura known as the Emerson Chapel. But as the congregation grew, it was then decided to move to a bigger venue to meet the needs of the church. This is where Jose Maria Zaragoza comes in as he was tapped to design the new church. The result was a sprawling landmark of a structure whose roof is reminiscent of the Salakot hat. Due to circumstances in relation to property lease and in order to avoid the prospect of losing its home yet again, the church entered into an agreement with the Ayalas in 1997 to make Legazpi Village its permanent home. However, sacrifices had to be made and one of them has to give away two-thirds of the original church to the Ayalas for development. Thus, the iconic Zaragoza design structure of the church had to go. Casino Español de Manila a club established in 1893 by the Spaniards who were living in the Philippines and made it as their exclusive venue for recreational and social activities. It later opened to the Filipinos to foster Filipino-Spanish ties in the country. Its first building was built in 1913 and was designed by architect Juan Arellano who incorporated influences of neo-Renaissance style. However, it was destroyed in 1945 during the liberation of Manila. As a result, it was rebuilt on its original site in 1951. The new clubhouse was designed by architect Jose Maria Zaragoza using the prevalent post-World War II Filipino-California-Spanish style, with its arched verandas surrounding the inner courtyard framed with deep arcaded loggias that open to the outdoors on one side and are separated from the interior spaces by arched door and window openings. It was an architecture so appropriate to the pulse of the era as it only reminded but did not replicate the Spanish-American roots which influenced Philippine lifestyle then and now. Phil Banking Building, completed in 1965 and on the circle in the port area of Manila, 
The 13-story building is well known for its international style of architecture, particularly coming from Zaragoza's collaboration with Brazilian architects Oscar Niemeyer and Lucio Costa. The building insinuates the subtle flowing Latino lines of Brazilian architecture. Zaragoza designed the building with the purpose of creating a modern atmosphere in a tropical setting with the use of bright soleil or sun buffles for natural light which also served a structural and decorative purpose. It was considered and presumed to be an important cultural property under the National Heritage Act because it was more than 50 years old and was also designed by an acknowledged national artist. However, earlier this year, the government of Manila decided to demolish the Phil Banking Building because it was said to be structurally unsound and that a part of it has been burnt. The Meralco Building in Ortigas is a massive building, probably Zaragoza's largest and one of its most iconic architectural masterpieces. It was the second building to be erected in the Ortigas area at that time and has since stood as a prominent landmark in the district since its inauguration in 1968. Zaragoza reportedly used the 1960s Brigia Soleil architectural medium for building design, where a series of vertical concrete elements installed as a concave curtain were ordered by monolithic concrete towers. In 2015, the Meralco building was declared an architectural legacy of a Philippine artist by the Cultural Center of the Philippines in recognition of Zaragoza, who was posthumously proclaimed National Artist for Architecture a year before. Shrine of Our Lady of the Miraculous Middle it was designed by Zaragoza with a circular dome and a cross high above it that could be seen even from miles away. It is considered to be an iconic landmark by many on the hilly land along Laguna de Bay. Quiapo Church, also known as the Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene, is a prominent basilica in the Philippines and is well known as one of the religious centers in the country. It is a famous home for the Black Nazarene the church was first built in 1586 but was destroyed three times and its current building was of architect Juan Nakpil who added the church's dome and second belfry in the process of reconstructing it. A few decades later, architect Jose Maria Zaragoza alongside engineer Eduardo Santiago were appointed by Monsignor Abriol to expand the church in order to accommodate more devotees which were steadily increasing in the country. Zaragoza also changed the design of the lateral walls but retained the facade and the dome. Quiapo Church's architecture can be described as that of Baroque style with the facade made distinct through the twisted columns on both levels. Given its history as well as the countless reconstruction and renovation it has gone through, only the facade and the dome at the transept retain the classic design. However, it cannot be denied that this sacred edifice has acquired a better, sturdier columnless structure and the modern architectural beauty we recognize as it is today. The Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, officially known as the Metropolitan Cathedral and Parish of St. Vitalis, and of the Immaculate Conception is the ecclesiastical seat of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Cebu in Cebu, Philippines. There was no decent church building from 1665 to 1741, but only a barn covered with the coconut palms wherein the missionaries celebrate the Mass with the people. The construction of cathedral had frequent interruptions due to the lack of funds and other natural man-made events. Much of the cathedral was destroyed by the Allied bombings during the Second World War and only the belfry, the facade, and the walls remained. However, under the supervision of Zaragoza during the 1950s, the whole church was quickly restored. The design of the cathedral is a typical of Spanish colonial church architecture in the country and is a Baroque Rococo style. It is among the most important emblems of Catholicism in the Philippines. St. John Bosco was built in 1977 and is located at the crossroads of Homer Solo Street and Arnai Avenue in Mahan. Named after St. John Bosco, Zaragoza employed a clamshell-inspired 
contemporary design with a semicircular layout. Since then, it has served as a Catholic center in Makati's business district. The St. John Bosco Church remains a significant landmark in the city of Makati. However, it is not just because of its significance as a Catholic church. It is also a symbol of achievements the John Bosco Salations have made in the metropolis landscape and is a work of amazing national artist. Santo Domingo Church and Convent, also known as the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Lanaval, is the largest church in Metro Manila as well as one of the biggest churches in Asia. Shrine dedicated to Mary, Mother of Jesus. Founded and first built way back in 1587, the church had five buildings but were each destroyed by fire, earthquakes, and Japanese bombings during the World War II. Zaragoza was given the task by the Dominicans to design a new Santo Domingo church while he was still an architecture student at University of Santo Tomas. It was built in the Spanish modern style which was unlike the Baroque churches built during the Spanish period and employed the latest technique in reinforced concrete building. The architecture includes Romanesque and Gothic designs that accommodate more space. The exterior of the church has carvings which were done by Francesco Monti, an Italian sculptor. Inside the church, the 15 mysteries of the rosary, depictions of the lives of famous Dominican saints, and the Lanaval battles stained the glass windows of the church which were all done by Gallo B. Ocampo. The eight murals that measure 3 meters wide and 9 meters long, which circle the church's cupola, depicting saintly Dominican ways were made by Angonos Pride, the late national artist Carlos Botong Francisco. The Santo Domingo Church has been declared as a national cultural treasure in 2012 to be preserved and protected because of its rich history. Zaragoza is a pillar of modern architecture in the Philippines, evident within his half-century of a career that produced ecclesiastical edifices and structures of modernity in the service of God and humanity.